Advertisement. Sign in register. In, featured articles, humans, male. Timmy Turner. Character Trivia Appearances Gallery. This article is about Timmy in the original animated series. For information on Timmy in the live action. Movies or Spin OS, see Timmy Turner, live action movies, or Timmy Turner, fairly order. For the A new. Wish character that resembles but was discanarum to be the actual Timmy, see not Timmy. What could possibly go wrong? Timmy's catchphrase. Timothy Timmy Tiberius Turner, born the 21st of March, 1992, is a 10-year-old boy who is the main protagonist of the Fairly Odd Parents, alongside his fairy godparents, Cosmo and Wanda. He's described by the show's theme song as an average kid that no one understands. Timmy's parents, known as Mom and Dad, are Neglectful of him and sometimes leave him under the care of his sadistic babysitter, Vicky. After a year of Vicky constantly making him miserable, Timmy was then given two magical fairy godparents, Cosmo and Wanda, and then later on a fairy godbrother, Poof, whom he wished for. Timmy was originally voiced by Mary K. Bergman in the Oh Yeah! Cartoons Shorts. After Bergman's passing, in 1999, Tara Strong would take over the role for the duration of the original series run. In the live action, movies and the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder, he's portrayed by Drake Bell and Caleb Pierce respectively. Contents, Hide. And 30 more English. View Source. 373. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. One character. 1.1. Description. 1.1.1. Voice. Two personality. 2.1. Weaknesses. Three background. 3.1. Family. 3.2. Early life. 3.3. At school. 3.4. Future life. 3.4.1. Bad future forward slash good future. Four alter egos. 4.1. Cleft, the boy chin wonder. 4.2. Negatimi. 4.3 The infamous imaginary Gary 4.4 Ga 4.5 Galactimus 4.6 Adult Timmy 4.6.123 years old, live action version 4.6.230 years old, animated version 4.7 Baby Timmy 4.8. One of America's most beloved comedians. 4.9. To be Ecuadorian Timmy. 4.10. Tamantha, Timmy's gender swapped form. 4.11. Timina, Timmy's female fairy form. 4.12. Date or man. Five relationships. 6 C also. 7 external links. 8 notes. 9 references. Character. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Timmy Turner is the main character of the show The Fairly Odd Parents. He originally had two fairy godparents, Cosmo and Wanda. But since Cosmo and Wanda's son Poof was born, fairly odd baby, he now has three fairies and instead of Cosmo and Wanda being his fairy godparents, and Poof being his godbrother, they are now his fairy family. 3. Timmy sometimes likes to make extreme wishes. 
his favorite superhero is the Crimson Chin, and likes to read the Crimson Chin comic books. For, as a result, his superhero alter ego is also the Chin's sidekick, cleft the boy Chin Wonder. Timmy also sometimes breaks the rules, but tricks George and Von Strangle into giving him back his fairy godparents. Timmy's birthday is the 21st of March, and he was born in the 90s according to the episode, The Secret Origin of Denzel Crocker, though he remains 10 years old throughout the entire series due to a secret wish that he made to stop everyone from aging as he wanted to keep his fairy family for as long as possible. According to Timmy, he did this for over FTY years with nobody else, not even his own fairies, being aware of this, as he wished for Cosmo to forget about making the wish. After he was found out, Timmy nearly lost his fairies for good, and because he wished Poof into existence, Poof and Foop were temporarily erased from existence, along with any other wish Timmy had made. After Timmy impressed the fairy council with his heroic actions, rescuing his fairies and friends, they allowed Timmy to keep his fairies, but reversed the effects of Timmy's time stop wish. In the fairly odd movie, Timmy manages to keep his fairies even longer by acting like a child well into adulthood, until the fairy council creates the Timmy Turner loophole, allowing Timmy to keep his fairies for as long as he makes unsolsha wishes. Description Timmy wears a pink hat which matches his shirt, and has blue pants and shoes. His hair is colored brown. He has blue colored eyes and buck teeth. He, along with his friends Chester and AJ, are considered unpopular at school. One thing that remains true for Timmy throughout his life are his buck teeth. It was shown in the good old days that his grandfather, Pappy, allowed Timmy to suck on his passire too long, causing him to develop his signature buck teeth. Timmy never appears to get his teeth zooed, as he carries his even into his adult life. Although in the movie, Grow Up Timmy Turner, he is seen without his buck teeth. Timmy also wears pink clothing, notably a pink hat, because his parents thought their RST child was going to be a girl and bought all girl clothing, as revealed in The Secret Origin of Denzel Crocker. Being a 10-year-old, Timmy has a very high and squeaky voice. According to the 77 Secrets of the Fairly Odd Parents Revealed, Timmy is 4 feet and 2 inches tall, and weighs 60 pounds. Before the Fairly Odd Parents was created, the original concept of Timmy Turner used to wear a red shirt and a blue hat. He also had red hair and more of a straight concept. Voice In the Oh Yeah Cartoons Shorts, Timmy was voiced by the late Mary Kay Bergman, and was replaced by Tara Strong for the main series after the original actress died. Timmy's original voice in the shorts was dubbed over by Timmy with Cosmo and Wanda. Dressed as a knight. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Tara Strong when these shorts were shown along with the Crimson Chin Web Isides, the exception to this. Being Where's the Wand? The adult version of Timmy was voiced by Alec Baldwin in the television special. Channel Chasers. In the fairly odd movie. He is portrayed by Drake Bell. Personality. Boring conversation. Can't focus. Timmy Turner. Throughout the series, Timmy is denied as proud, salesha and arrogant. However, he makes up for it by being extremely witty and clever. He is also truly brave and heroic proving to be rather caring and loving. 
unlike his friends who are quite comfortable with being unpopular, Timmy desperately tries being cool in high hopes that he will win Trixie over. 5. Once he and Trixie shared a kiss before Timmy was sucked into the darkness. Later on, Timmy and Trixie try to kiss again but are interrupted each time by several de-ironed characters. 6. He also has a very short attention span and constantly gets FS, a habit from Mr. Crocker, also a D and an A+, plus, a, and another a and ribbon when he cheated in the science fair, his common grade despite being above average. This may hint that Timmy may sue from attention to ICT hyperactivity disorder, see trivia. He is always looking for the easy way out and despite acknowledging Cosmo as a complete idiot usually takes his wish. Ideas over wonders which involve more eort on his part and less excitement. He's one of the few TV show characters to meet his future self. He is very bad at riding motorcycles as seen in Wishology, but that is because he does not have a license to do that yet. Timmy is sometimes shown to be mean and callous to other characters, sometimes his own friends, and particularly Vicky's little sister Tootie, though he has usually made up to them whenever going too far. His Tendency to be Sailsha was highlighted in the television special Fairy Idol, where a Timmy clone drove Cosmo and Wanda away by ungratefully using their magic and overworking them as part of Norm's plan to get revenge on Timmy. Even after learning about the ruse, Cosmo and Wanda were reluctant to return to Timmy because of his behavior, but did so anyway when they saw how much he cared for them. After Season 5, Speci Cowley, after Poof's birth, Timmy started having nervous tics whenever he got was surprised by some unfortunate event, such as constantly losing Poof. These tics are remarkably similar to Crocker's tics whenever he says fairy godparents, although less scandalous, mumbling gas and does, while making many facial expressions of astonishment. Weaknesses Timmy's weaknesses are bare feet, oranges, clowns, seven, man eggs, his dad's butt, also known as full moon, and being allergic to sauerkraut. 8. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Background Ah, the Internet Timmy Turner's excuse for everything, except in a wish too far where he says ah, internet. Inheritance. I inherited the internet. Timmy Turner is the only child of Mr. Turner and Mrs. Turner. He is the grandson of Pappy from his father's side of the family, and Grandma Gladys and Grandpa Vlad from his mother's side. His maternal grandparents. Immigrated to America from Ustinkistan many years ago to start up a business called Yak in the Box, but his RST idea was to sail to America RST on the Soggy Turnip, which became a very successful restaurant chain. Pappy's ancestry is unknown, but he has lived in America since at least the 1930s. Every time Mr. and Mrs. Turner nd unexpected things Timmy has in his room. They ask Timmy where he got those two, and Timmy says, ah, internet. There are some instances when this excuse does not work. Family Timmy's closest relatives are, of course, his parents. He loves them very much, and the feeling is mutual. However, his parents sometimes seem to disregard to their son's feelings and needs over their own, which is to get out of the house as often as possible for their interests, leaving Timmy to the mercy of his evil babysitter, Vicky. They also tend to coldly ignore him, lie to him without guilt, and do stupid things at Timmy's expense. 
They have even gone to great lengths to end friends to escape the boy as they once called him. Timmy's mom is more sensitive and kind to Timmy while his dad is more salesha. Timmy has a better relationship with his godparents and baby godbrother, Cosmo, Wanda, and Poof. They love each other as much as any other family. Timmy also grew close with his pappy, after he came to LL in for Vicky one night, when he learned just how great old cartoons could be, although due to a wish that made pappy sound like a lunatic, Timmy's parents chose not to have pappy remain as Timmy's full-time babysitter. Besides his parents and godparents, Timmy supposedly has Catman for a legal guardian, but it's more of a reversed role. As Timmy usually has to get Catman out of trouble or help him when he's feeling down. But it seems to be an almost uncle forward slash nephew relationship. Timmy also has an excellent relationship with his maternal grandparents Grandma Gladys and Grandpa Vlad, which has become better because he was the one who made Grandpa Vlad realize his dream. Early life Before Timmy was born, they thought he was going to be a girl, so they brought him stereotypically girly things. This explains why Timmy wears a pink shirt and a pink hat. 2. It also explains why his parents have baby photos of him in dresses. When he was born, Mr. Turner wanted to call him Bono, but Mrs. Turner wanted him to be Timmy. 9. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. It is implied in Timmy's secret wish that Timmy was put on the top of his family car when he was taken home from the hospital after his birth. However, the good old days seems to counter this as in the former episode, Timmy has buck teeth, but the latter episode implies that Timmy got his buck teeth after Pappy Turner babysat him and let Timmy suck on his passire for too long. As Timmy grew older, his dad recorded everything that he did every day, and put it all on tape so they could watch it later. When he turned eight, Timmy's parents told a lie that made Timmy get stuck with the evil babysitter Vicky. 10. Timmy also met Vicky's sister Tootie around this time, and she took an immediate liking to him. 11. One day after being tormented by Vicky, he threw his lucky magic nine ball at the wall in frustration. And Cosmo and Wanda emerged when the toy broke. The two fairies became Timmy's fairy godparents. Watching over him and granting wishes to make him less miserable. This was revealed in the movie, Abra. Catastrophe. 12. Timmy's birthday is, in fact, the day after that of celebrity Chip Skylark. 13. At school. At school, Timmy is considered as a loser, along with his friends and tries to become a popular kid so he can hang with his crush, Trixie Tang, the most popular girl at school. Unfortunately, when he wishes to be cool, it results in some kind of scrape that Timmy eventually gets himself out of, nearly losing his fairies in the process. In movie magic, Timmy made a real-life movie. Instead of entering the movie with his friends in it to the Demaidens film festival, trying to win to impress Trixie. But he decided to go with the original movie to keep his friends. He failed to win Trixie over but did not give up. Even with the help of magic, Timmy Trixie's stubbornness, some of the fans think. Trixie just said that because he is still a loser at school. Timmy has two best friends, Chester McBabat and AJ, and two backup friends, Sanjay and Elmer. Timmy and his friends are considered unpopular. 
kids by the rest of the school, although Timmy, Chester, and AJ are apparently a notch above Sanjay and Elmer. 5. Timmy and his friends are frequently tormented by the school bully, Francis, who beats them up on sight, oftentimes in plain sight of the school faculty. Even though Francis's Size and brutality hopelessly outmatch him, Timmy will still stand up to him. In Kung Timmy he was able to beat Francis in AGHT with the help of his fairies, as Kung Fu could only be used in defense, and when Francis was about to beat up Tutti for cheering on Timmy, he was easily able to save her and beat Francis so badly that Timmy's father could use his son as a threat to get Francis to clean up the mess he made at the Turner's house. Tad and Chad, the two popular boys opposite of Trixie and Veronica, also consider him unpopular as well and treat him just as badly. Timmy and his friends as superheroes during the big superhero wish. Timmy's permanent record. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Denzel Crocker is a teacher at Timmy's school who believes in fairies and follows Timmy around, trying to show the world Timmy's fairies and proving that fairies do exist. 14. Once with the help of a magic mu n, his instinct proved successful. But when Timmy got his fairies back, he wished that everyone had forgotten that he had fairies, so Crocker went back to being considered crazy guy with a hunchback and a low charisma. 10. Crocker also has a knack for giving Timmy FS, Timmy's common grade. In the secret origin of Denzel Crocker, it is revealed that Timmy tried to prevent Mr. Crocker from losing his godparents who happened to be Cosmo and Wanda as well, but in the end, just caused Crocker's insanity, instead of preventing it. Future life. Bad future forward slash good future. Main article, Channel Chasers. In the bad future shown in Channel Chasers, 20 years in the future Timmy will have sneaked into future Vicky's forces after she had taken over and destroyed the world. Timmy is shown to be a powerful, skilled Kto, who easily dispatches an entire squad of Vicky's forces for her entertainment and earns her trust while in disguise. After Vicky gets her hands on future AJ's time belt, she sends Timmy, now her most trusted and skilled minion back through time to present Dimsdale to either retrieve young Timmy's magic TV remotes or perhaps even cause him harm. Future Timmy instead chases his younger counterpart through television until younger Timmy manages to capture and interrogate him. Future Timmy reveals himself and his true intent to Timmy and the viewer, and the two Timmys team up to stop her. Although Vicky eventually damages future Timmy's time belt, causing him to fade back into the future, younger. Timmy succeeds into stopping Vicky and retrieving both TV remotes, thereby denying Vicky her power and changing future Timmy's timeline for the better. After the timeline is restored, a vision of the new good future appears. 30-year-old Timmy is shown to have had two children. Tommy and Tammy, and will reside in the same house he did as a child. His spouse is Unrevi Aled, but the children were given characteristics of both Tutti and Trixie Tang, his most common love interests in the show, to leave Timmy's romantic struggles open for future episode plots. He is shown glancing at a photograph he took with Cosmo and Wanda but they are replaced with real gold show, and he does not recall anything in particular about them. Cosmo and Wanda are shown to still live with Timmy, who is shown making the same neglectful mistakes as his parents had made, such as leaving his kids with an evil 
Babysitter The Evil Babysitter was a Vicky Bot 9015. Alter Egos Cleft, the Boy Chin Wonder Main Article, Cleft the Boy Chin Wonder Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. In the episode, Chin Up, Timmy accidentally revealed to the Chin that was just a comic book character, and the Chin lost his condense. Timmy entered the universe of Crimson Chin, and helped him regain it, as cleft the boy Chin. Wonder a tribute to Robin from Batman, and acts as his sidekick. Clefts Powers are suit-based, and can pull any prop or weapon out of his cleft. Cosmo and Wanda act as Timmy's two dog sidekicks Ace the Chin Hound. And Clefto, a tribute to Batman and Superman's respective super pets, Ace. The Bat Hound and Crypto. In the episode Chindred Spirits, he decide to Investigate the Chin on why his comics was so boring and miserable and goes to Chin Sign 80 thus Poof. Turned into his sidekick, Puppy Poof just like his parents. After investigating he wished that the Chin can end e. His true love which was Golden Locks. Timmy Turner also defeats the Chin's evil twin, the Nega Chin, under. This cleft alias. Timmy dons the cleft alter ego in Crimson Chin Bumpers aired on Nickelodeon and Nicktoons TV, and in the half-hour special The Big Superhero Wish. This alias was playable in the video. Games enter the cleft, break in the rules, and shadow showdown. Nega Timmy Main article, Timmy Turner forward slash Nega Timmy Nega Timmy was created when Timmy's father told him to be good right. After he wished to do the direct opposite of whatever his parents told him to. Nega Timmy has two fangs, red eyes, pale skin, wears a cloak, is extremely intelligent, and is evil, in short the exact opposite of Timmy, a goth-like hair. Similar to Danny Phantoms, has dark eye lining, elf-like ears, which like hand with pale claws and a snake-like tongue. He nearly destroyed the makeup factory which would have caused disasters if it succeeds. It luckily didn't due to Mr. Turner wanting Timmy to be as evil as possible and Timmy now good wishes the wave away from the factory. He was originally his evil form and is later his evil twin. 16. The Infamous Imaginary Gary Main article, Gary Gary is an imaginary boy that Timmy made up when he was V.E. years old. So that he could have a friend to play with. Timmy was Gary. Later, when he was 10 and got his fairies, he wished for Gary to be real. Although Gary was really cool and nice to Timmy at RST, which obviously was furious. When he locked him up in a box when he angrily said, you, he quickly started to embarrass Timmy in front of his classmates. When Timmy asked why, Gary revealed that he was angry that Timmy kept him locked away in his mind for so long after he got real friends, as Gary claims. Eventually Timmy defeats him by going into his own mind and beating Gary with ten-year-old toys as well as a memory of Vicky. Later, Gary appears on Unwish Island, leading Timmy's other unwished wishes on a plot. Timmy as cleft the boy chin. Wonder. Nega Timmy. Timmy's archenemy, Gary. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. To kidnap Timmy's friends and family, and lure him into a trap. He was stopped again when Timmy wished up. Clones of himself to serve Gary and the others, so that way they can be at peace with Timmy. Ga. Main article, Ga. In love at first height, once while at the amusement park, Timmy was too. 
short to ride the heart stopper so he wishes he had the body of a 16-year-old. Hunky teenager but still have the mind of a 10-year-old boy, thus, becoming a supermodel, a reference to some supermodel's childish attitudes. When Vicky sits next to him on the ride, he utters ga as a startle response from being asked his name by Vicky. When Vicky asked, what sort of name is Ga? He says that it is a Norwegian name. 17, because of this he is eventually is recognized by his fans as Ga. Vicky wanted to go after him and when she demanded Timmy where he went, Timmy stated that he had to go back to Norwegia. Galactimus. Timmy wishes his parents were superheroes, Mighty Mom and Dino Dad, but later regrets it when they were too busy saving the world to spend time with him. Timmy wishes their powers were gone but they were, so super powerful they were invulnerable to magic and could only be wished back if they willingly gave up their powers. So Timmy wishes himself to become his comic book's most powerful cosmic entity, Galactimus, who is pretty much a lookalike of the Marvel Comics cosmic entity Galactus. Galactimus was able to defeat Mighty Mom and Dino Dad with ridiculous ease, and ordered Cosmo and Wanda, who both looked like the Silver Surfer, but with skateboards instead of surfboards to remove his parents' powers. This is one of the few alter egos where Timmy is a villain. 18. Adult Timmy. 23 years old, live action version. Main article, Timmy Turner, 29 years old. A live action version of adult Timmy is the central focus of Grow Up, Timmy. Turner. And its sequels. Timmy has kept his fairies for 13 years by persistently acting like a child and remaining in the FTH grade. This changes when grown-up Tootie returns to town, and Timmy begins to fall in love with his childhood friend which will cause him to lose his fairies. Timmy must decide whether to remain acting like a child, or to grow up and be with the Woman He Loves 30 Years Old, Animated Version Gar with Cosmo and Wanda Grown Up Timmy Turner from The Bad Alternate Future Ruled By Grown Up Vicky Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Main Article, Future Timmy In the TV movie Channel Chasers, an older version of Timmy appears, he is a muscular man mastering several ways of armed and unarmed combat. At RST he is shown as a henchman working for Vicky, but it is later revealed to be double-crossing her by preventing her to take over the world. After his timeline is changed, he is shown as a middle-class worker who still lives in his childhood home. He is now father to Tommy and Tammy Turner. 15. Timmy's future spouse was not shown, and her identity is left up to the viewer. Baby Timmy. Timmy has been turned into a baby on several occasions. The RST was when he wished himself into one in the episode, Baby Face, to evade Francis at Camp Lernatorium by hiding in the daycare. Timmy ran into problems when he could no longer talk, and therefore could not reverse the wish, but he remedied this by spelling out the wish to return him to ten years old. Timmy was also turned into a baby twice in Channel Chasers, once when he journeyed into the carpet. Critter's television program, a parody of Rugrats. Later, near the end of the movie, Timmy used his magic TV. Remote to age himself past 18 to lose Cosmo and Wanda's magic and stop Vicky. When Cosmo and Wanda were about to be taken away by the fairy taxi, 
Cosmo quickly aged Timmy backwards too far and turned him into a baby again, before turning him back to normal shortly after. One of America's most beloved comedians. During the TV movie Abracatastrophe, Timmy GHTS Denzel Crocker, keeping his identity hidden through most of the con ICT with help from his Groucho glasses, as of one of America's most beloved comedians, a reference to Groucho Marx. To be Ecuadorian Timmy. Main article, To be Ecuadorian Timmy. A To be Ecuadorian tribal version of Timmy Turner. His enemy is Francisco, a Tobequadorian tribal version of Francis, and his new brother is Tommy. He appeared at the end of the episode, oh, brother, showing optimism that his new older brother will help him beat up a bully named Francisco, but Tommy is only interested in helping tone deaf llamas, much to Tobequador Timmy's annoyance. 19. Tamantha Timmy's gender swapped form. Main article, Tamantha. Tamantha is the female version of Timmy. In the episode The Boy Who Would Be Queen, Wanda turns Timmy into Tamantha after he ridicules the prospect of being a girl so that it would be possible to end an ideal birthday gift for Trixie Tang, as well as revenge for Timmy insulting the said prospect. Tamantha was angry. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF at Wanda and ordered a gender switch between her and Cosmo. However, Tamantha did become best friends with Trixie when they met at the Dimsdale Mall. This alter ego is used as a disguise in the video game. Break in the rules. Timina Tim is female fairy form. Timina is the female fairy form of Timmy featured in the Nickelodeon magazine comic strip Elmrilla. When Timmy wishes to become Elmer's fairy godparent, before Timmy nishes his sentence, Cosmo turns Timmy into a fairy godmother. Timmy was turned into Timina. Date or man. Timmy became Dato Man in the episode Birthday Bashed. When he tries to get rid of his stew on his birthday, he tries to why but falls down. Relationships. It'll be our little secret of Lulu. Timmy Turner, Boy Toy. Main article, Timmy Turner forward slash relationships. Being the main character and protagonist of the show, Timmy has a variety of relationships toward other characters, ranging from love, hatred, to complete fear. He has made many friends and enemies, mostly enemies, throughout the course of the show. Timmy also has a number of love interests, although the most popular ones are Tootie and Trixie, a relationship that has been compared to the Archie comics and the Betty and Veronica rivalry. Interestingly there is also a Veronica on the fairly odd parents who looks more like Betty but her secret crush on Timmy is only touched upon in one episode. 20. Timmy has lost friends. Before due to his Sailsha behavior, although eventually he reclaimed them at the end of the episode by apologizing and he has made up for it, which has made his Sailshaness long gone. 21. See also. List of Timmy Turner's wishes. External links. Fairly Odd Fanon Wiki. Tamantha Befriending Trixie. Tang. Timina. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Notes. Carried Spouse. Tootie the exactly identity of Timmy's spouse is still unclear, and debated by fans, but the live-action fairly odd movie seems to indicate Tootie as the most likely option. However, Trixie has not been entirely ruled out either as the exact interpretation is still left up to the viewer.
References Because, my little artichoke, I'm 16 and you're 10. Do the math. Vicky, in reference to Timmy. The fairy flu. The fairly odd parents. Nickelodeon. The 12th of July, 2002. 2.02.1 The Secret Origin of Denzel Crocker The Fairly Odd Parents Nickelodeon Fairly Odd Baby Chin Up 5.05.1 A Wish Too Far The Fairly Odd Parents Nickelodeon The 13th of April, 2001 Wishology A Bad Case of Diarrhea the fairy flu. Add a dad. 10.010.1 a catastrophe. The fairy flu. The fairly odd parents. Episode. Boys in the band. Transparence. 15.015.1 .015 channel chasers. The fairly odd parents. Nickelodeon. The 23rd of July, 2004. Negatimi, episode. Love at first height. Mighty Mom and Dino Dad. Oh, brother. Information Stupor Highway. The Fairly Odd Parents. Nickelodeon. The 20th of January, 2003. Power Pals. The Fairly Odd Parents. Nickelodeon. The 18th of May, 2004. Timmy Turner. Character Guide. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.